This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by <laughs> Elbrook in York Hall today. This is the quarters I've seen York Hall in a while. Not many people are here yet. Just a quick interview before it starts. How's everything with you, Will? Everything's good. Everything. It's a bit quiet, but it's early on in the day. The cronies will come. I think um, everything's going to look smaller compared to the prime card as well. Yeah. You know. It's like leveled down a few places almost. Yeah. But you can't really get bigger than the prime card just yet. But me? No, Why no, you no. I belong on this no, one? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyone in general. Yeah. It's leveled down a few places. That's fair enough. The prime card's the peak almost. And um, they had so many good fights on that card that they've probably got to wait a while now for storylines to develop on these cards, these building cards, for another big one. When is it going to be the Prime Card 2, do you know? Next year sometime. What, like late next year? I'll say like summertime. You can oh, do like, summer. out, I was thinking you can do a like, nice outdoor arena maybe, couldn't you? Oh my gosh, you know like how um, Matrim did the garden? Like, Matrim, Matrim Square Garden. That yeah. was unbelievable. They had like the food trucks and everything. Mark and um, Johnny fought on that card and they always says how amazing it was. So they should definitely do that. Yeah. It seems more of a misses type of thing to do. Like the Ibiza one that got cancelled. That was probably the closest thing to it. Having like the ring on the beach, that'd yeah. be quite cool. Maybe on like Miami or something. Oh no, it's too hot in Miami in the winter, uh, summer. Um, I don't know, maybe we could do like a winter card in Australia or something. Yeah, well, Aust Australia, hopefully they're saying next year. Love. Might be a, might be a chance, Shut yeah. Up. If you weren't fighting, would you still go over? Oh well, yeah, 100. It's, um, it's just an excuse to go. The only, like, how long would you have to go if you were fighting to get used to that jet yeah, lag? I'll say for a week in advance, two weeks. Week. Oh god. It, yeah, for a week from the Wednesday. And then I think you'd want to stay over a week as well, you know? Yeah. But you can't just go to Australia for a few days. No. That's too little. And then there's like New Zealand. You know, when you want to go there, you might see well. that side of the world, which you're never going to go to anyway. Bali. It takes 24 hours to go there. You might as well. Oh no, I'm travelling for three months. Yeah. You know, we'll see. But for yourself, though, you just signed a new manager. Yeah. Things will be looking bright for you in the future. Yeah. When we'll see you out next? Um, hopefully early next year. Um, yeah, I've got a new manager. My my old one was didn't make good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> The old one. Uh. I, don't, I don't want to blame him. Obviously, I fucking got my ass beat. But I wasn't the best decision. So maybe good. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shit. So um, got a new manager. The now. old manager got the kick. Yeah, old manager. Goodbye. <laughs> and we got a new one. New, new squeaky clean one. We trust him. We're hoping he did a good job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, peak 2024 is number three. <laughs> So it'll be like January, February, March time, the first kind of first quarter of next year's fair. Yeah, the first quarter. I'm not too sure about what cards are for sure yet. You know, Misfits change everything last minute. But I'll be back. I will be back. And what will be the AJ fight that makes sense? The belt? Yeah. Or is it, do you want more time? I guess if it's January, February, that's enough time for her to get ready. Exactly. She already fought three months ago now. Oh, two months ago. But it would be it would be a while. She would have had a good break. Yeah, no, I think I want that belt for the reason that people don't want to fight me. At least then they'll have a reason to fight me if they want that belt. That's why I want that belt. It just saves my ass a lot. Like, I don't want to fight her for no reason. I fucking get it. So at least then there's It's the bargaining tool as well, isn't it? Yeah, Having that belt. Exactly. Good for PR. It's bragging Get right. good photos for it as yeah, well. Exactly. All the photos. Uh. <laughs> A uh, few, few people walking in right now. Um, just a couple of things ready to go. Rough predictions. Jarvis B. Dave in the main event. As I could. Um, um, I think um, B. Dave's probably a lot rougher, but Jarvis is better technically. I don't know. I think that's a good fight. I think it's a really good fight. I think it's a 50 50. So do you think either fighter the guy t takes the knee, gets knocked down? Obviously, they're going, they're going at each other the whole time. They're kind of ball in the ball. Going straight at each other. B Dave. Yeah, and Jarvis. Yeah. But I don't know how many rounds this is. Obviously, five, B Dave, five rounds. five rounds, five threes for Dave is going to be tough. I think that's his biggest um, test, really, because he's so good at the tag team, because he's explosive, but then he gets time off. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if Jarvis is going to just have prepared for him to, you know, fight the way he does and just wear him out. We'll see. Maybe it'll be a boxing masterclass. And Judy Pocker versus Vampira. Obviously, yeah. you fought Bocca last time. Yeah. How's that one go down for the women's belt? Oh, my God. Do you know what? That one, that could go either way. Um, I think, obviously, deep, like, deep down, if I'm honest, I want Judy to fucking win because it just makes me look better that at least I got my ass beat by the fucking best person in this fucking space. You know, like, I think it's better PR for me. 
it truly wins. <laughs> That's true. You always want the person who beat you to do well. Yeah. If she, goes, like, if she goes gets chinned in the first round, you're like, oh, I know. a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I know. I'm like, fucking go, truly. But I like truly. Um, I've, I know there was never any bad beef. Like there was always like a really good build up to that fight, and we really respected each other. So um, I like Vampiria as a boxer too. So that one's going to be interesting. And I think the winner of that one needs to fight Barbie. Hundred. So, yeah. that's, that's a fair shout. And one last thing, and they know it kind of influences in America. You can fight, you kind of stretch out to America, broaden the fan base, widen it. Yeah. Do you know what? I might just go to AVNs, wait in every little queue, be like, do you want to fight me? We'll make so much money. <laughs> and then we can make a video after. We'll be rich. And they'll be like, oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Can you name any girls there? name what the avians we're trying to get riley reed lana rhodes is a bit weird now so we could rope her back to reality <laughs> Try get she, her needs, she needs a humbling she <laughs> no needs, she doesn't lana's cool no, 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 lana's she cool needs a humbling. she's cool but she's a bit strange so we'll we'll rake her in um me and malcova she's a bit bigger than me taller than me fuck it i reckon it'll be like a newbie um what's it called in golf when uh, rookie no 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 when you're bad so you get a number uh, well, you get a high number because yeah, you need more hits. Because um, depending on what, uh, what, how level you are, yeah. I can't remember the word for it. I don't know either. I don't play golf. Oh, I'm not that rich. Either. So, um, yeah, <laughs> got my blank. All right, that sounds pretty good then, Al. Yeah. Looking forward to the Avian Awards for second year running. You weren't there last year, so obviously this will be better. But yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you. I'll be there. Be square. Perfect. <laughs>